What's going on? What's going on? We back one time for the one time we grinding. Good fella sports TV. Um, talk about Migos. You know how to. Um, I guess this generation's uh, <laughs> standards. A great CD. Um, culture. And one of the the premier songs that I actually like off the CD is "Walk It Like You Talk It." And um, TMZ is saying that, and also the artist that is uh, supposedly suing is confirming that they're being sued for stealing. Uh, the song or the hook to the song, Walk It Like You Talk It, and I'll Do You One Better. i link the song in the description, both songs from YouTube, the original Walk You Like You Talk It from uh, from DJ Folk, a.k.a. MOS, and we'll talk about him in a minute, and then the song, the actual song that the Migos did, Walk It Like You Talk It, and you make the determining factor. Now, the quality of song from DJ Folk did was um, actually nowhere near the quality or the production was nowhere near the Migos song. Nowhere near it. You know? But the one thing about it is the hook. <laughs> the hook. They straight jacked the man hook. Um, the beat wasn't the same. You know, the they both were trap records. It came out in 2007 was featured on his 2008 mixtape. And, um, and looking to get paid. And most people say, oh, this is an artist that's looking to get paid, that's trying to get paid, you know, from work that he did 10 years ago. Well, it's not necessarily true. He confirms on Twitter. He, he confirms this on Twitter that he's not the one suing. Um, so I guess whoever, the record label who funded the mixtape or or whatever is, is suing. So he said he ain't suing. So that means, I guess, if they, they he doesn't own the rights to the song. And if that, that he doesn't own the rights to the song and he's not suing, uh, that means, you know, he ain't going to get a dime. So whoever owns the song will, if they sue the Migos and they settle or they get a settlement, we'll get the song. But this is what he says on Twitter. Just because I got calls about this situation, I'm not the person who is suing. This song was on the mixtape I hosted back in 2007. So, you know, he hosted mixtape. So I'm not sure if that was him actually rapping on the song or, you know, he just hosted a mixtape. Because that used to be huge, like back in like 06 to, you know, maybe 09, especially for trap rappers like Gucci Man, You would have DJ Holiday. You will have, uh, um, you know, you will have, you know, Zaytoven will host mixtapes and, you know, other mixtape DJs. That was really, really um, big back back then. Uh, um, and DJ Drama, you know, and he hosted a mixtape with Jeezy. He's an A and R and stuff of that nature. So him making this statement just said he didn't have rights to his music. So uh, this sounds like this is a record label situation suing Amigos. Uh, I wonder what made them go back and think about it. You know what I'm saying? What made them go back and listen to this mixtape? Because that particular song wasn't even quality. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't studio quality at all. It was, you know, basement quality. Um, you know, the rap song wasn't that good to begin with. But um, the hook, they took the hook. And I just showed you the music industry is is full of swagger jackers, man. I, I remember seeing several local Detroit rappers, you know, uh, or a few Detroit rappers do songs, okay, they would do songs, and real, real prominent rappers would be biting their style, you know, I remember it was a guy from Ohio, this dude, I don't know what he was rapping, they called him Lanes, he was hot last year for whatever reason, he was, he was not rapping, he was like breathing on the track, and, and the dude in the industry on, on in, in a rap song stole his style, it was a terrible style, but they stole his style, so, you know, you got, you know, it's always, it's been that way in music, but you got Trash artists is stealing trash, stealing trash, stealing trash from other trash artists. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know, you you be like at least in this, uh, at least in this area, you be like, oh, at least I know, you know, nobody else could have wrote that but him. You know, could nobody go wiggity wiggity ha who ha? Man, that's got man, these dudes ain't even original, man. A lot of these dudes' style are are coming from Future with that mumble type style. They bite Future style. I done seen Fetty White bite his whole style, the way he dressed. You know, and, and you can talk junk about mumble rap all you want to, but I got I got to I got to salute the originator, you know, the original creator of mumble rap future, you know, for birthing all these dudes, man. And not only do they steal their style from future, now they still in their style from other rap songs. You know, I don't know what made them go back and listen to that song because it's clear as day they took that hook. You know what I'm saying? It's clear day they listened to that song. So it might have been a hot song in Atlanta. I guess this guy from Atlanta. He's done work with Jeezy. He hosted a, a Jeezy mixtape. So they must have heard the song, and somebody must have liked it out the group and said, we could use that hook. This is 10 years ago, 11 years ago, they used this song. You know what I'm saying? 
Ain't, ain't nobody gonna say nothing. It's 10, 11 years ago, man. We can get away with it. And um, in the music industry, when you get hot and the song get popular, and somebody hear it and say, damn, that sound like woo 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 song. You know, we can sue them and, and get some bread off of them real quick. And that's just what it is, dog. That's just exactly what it is, man. These dudes um, in the industry are, are swagger jackers. Um, no, no originality still to this day. Everybody got the same style. Now everybody, now you got guys like Amigos allegedly stealing, uh, stealing music, man. But um, like I said, it's allegedly you can make, you know, make it, make it for your, you know, make it out for yourself. I'm telling you, the, the original song, which I put as an original in the link, is not that high quality at all. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It ain't it ain't got no, you know, you know, it's just like some basement trap mixtape type of stuff, man. It's not high quality, let me say that. But um but um but the hook, you know, the hook, as soon as it come on, I think the hook play, I think. Or it ain't that long, you have to sit through this music and you hear the hook, as soon as it come on, it go, don't it like you talking. And he ain't kinda doing that little that little hook and that little that little thing that, that they took from this song is called plagiarism. And when you do plagiarism, you steal somebody, uh, uh, you know, music, and your song blew up and get hot. Everybody want a piece of the pie. You might not think nothing of it. You didn't credit him on the album, and then it, it sound like this DJ folk, aka MOS guy. M, it's like an acronym. M dot O M dot S. We just put DJ folk in, and it sounds like it sounds like he doesn't even have ownership to the mixtape. You know, you know, a lot of these a lot of these rappers don't even have ownership to they to they work. Now, why is it so important to have ownership to your work? Because it it gets royalties. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, it's playbacks and all that. So a lot of these dudes don't even own their music. So they out here looking rich, but they really broke. You know, so when when, when stuff when 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 people want to come to a commercial, let's say they want to do a commercial, and they want to just say, let's say they beat this suit, this lawsuit, and they want to do walk it like you talking, and, and Atlantic Records, I don't know who record label they with, but the Atlantic Records owns all the rights to the song. And they'll pay Atlantic Records. The artists don't get no kickback. They might get royalties, you know, but they don't have ownership of their music. And, and that's sad in, in, in music that, um, going back, I always say this when I talk about music entertainment videos, man. Um, just talking about music. When going back, Ray Charles owned all his rights to his music. James Brown owned a bunch of his rights to his music. Sam Cooke, these dudes was getting real money. They owned their music. They were smart businessmen. A lot of them dudes barely knew how to read, but they knew how to count and they knew not to get played in the business side. And then we, we still here after New Edition, after TLC, after Tupac, you know, was getting robbed by music labels. And, and the rest of these rappers was getting robbed by labels and executives. It, we here 30, 40, 50, oh, damn near 100 years later. And it's still artists that, that's ignorant to the situation that don't own their music. They're selling their music out for a little bit of upfront money, you know, a little bit of label money. They go buy a watch and a new Camaro and then they broke again. And we will be getting money on the back end, seeing the bigger picture. And it's sad though, but I don't I don't know if this is gonna stick, to be honest. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know if this is gonna stick, but they did take the hook. So maybe they have to settle. It sounds like they took the allegedly it sounds like they took the hook. So uh, like I said, I linked the article from TMZ. I linked both of the songs uh in the description. Y'all guys let me know what you feel. Does it sound like um that he's they swagger jacked the song? Or, you know, does it, if, if it's just nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm interested to see what you guys thought. I, I, just my personal opinion, they took a little bit of the song. Um, they might have thrown some, you know, who, the label, whoever technically suing uh, uh, some bread real quick. It's a speeding ticket. Keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, anytime in the music industry, you, you sample something, you take a little bit of something, you got to pay whoever owns that music. Um, just like Jay Z said in the takeover, he said he used Nas' voice. He said, "I know exactly who I paid. I paid the publishing company. I didn't pay you, so he didn't have hold, have ownership of you know of that song. So whoever has ownership of the song, that's who you pay. So, and yeah, music is more difficult than people think. A lot of these dudes think they going around. You know, people think these rappers is rich, and you want to be groovies and have rappers bodies, but these dudes be broke as a joke. They only really get money for tour money, and it's a shame that." Artists are still out here getting getting jobbed by record labels, and we didn't see so many different uh, music groups, R and B groups, rappers get took to to the bank by record labels. But you know it is what it is. It's Good Fella Sports TV. Uh, make sure you check us out on Facebook. You got a video request, a question, you can DM me on Facebook. That link's in the description. The Facebook like page. 
Also, you can D, uh, hit me up in the email. If you want to make a donation, that link's there as well. Y'all know what the business is. Let me know what y'all think. We gone.